What up, man? It's your boy, Go Room, the host and the producer of the Worldwide Podcast, The Room Show. And I got my boy right here. What's up, bro? What up? My name is Eno Ice, um, KCT. I'm an upcoming artist from Hartford, Connecticut. I get the podcast on now. Yes, sir. So, uh, how old are you, bro? I'm 16 years old. 16? It's mm-hmm. mad young. Yeah. How, how long you been doing music? Um, for a good two years. Two years. Okay. Do you got any uh, projects out? Yeah, I do have um, two mixtapes out and um, a few singles. A few singles. Um, you got singles? You got any music videos? I have one music video. Okay. It's on YouTube? Yep. What's it called? It's called Ken Tuera because I'm a bilingual artist. Okay. So I do both English and Spanish. Sometimes I like to mix up the verses. Mm-hmm. What um what inspired you to want to be an artist? Um, to be honest, it's been like my family, it's been like my bloodline. Um, my dad started it, and then um, my, that's how like kind of my mom and my dad met. It was um like music and church and stuff like that. So, yeah. Word, that's dope. Um, you worked with any other CT artists? Yeah, I worked with um Autumn Sky. I worked with Blaze. Um, worked with my boy JJ. Um, it's, it's a lot. Of, we got we got a lot coming. And um. What artists, like big artists, do you look up to or like motivate you? Um, the one that comes to mind is like my my idol is um Osuna. Um, he's like a big um Spanish artist. Okay. Yeah. No one well. I know. <laughs> yeah, he's good and everything. But um, I've met um a few like upcoming artists like it's like Baby and Dirt for us, yeah. open PR. Um, Anka's one, and I met the manager of Moneyway um Hydro. That's fire. Yeah. What's um what's some things you haven't done yet that you want to do? Um, right now we're trying to do like a little tour in Hartford. We're getting it ready for next year. So that's why we're just trying to go hard in the studio for now. Trying to get my name out there for now. And um, or, yeah. So you're about to do your own like city tour? Yeah. Different like bars and clubs. Yep, different little bars, clubs. Um, right now, for the rumored and and so it's official. We have um Parkville Market and the Bushman. That's fire. Mm-hmm. Um. What's your newest song that you dropped? My newest one, um, it wasn't really a single. It was more than mixtape, but um, the newest one you can say was Gintu Ere because um, we just finished doing the music video to it. Mm-hmm. We wrapped it up. We did it on the um, Puerto Rican Parade Day. Okay. So we was on Franklin Ave, um, just recording that. Yeah, that was lit. That's yeah. where I seen you too. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as like in Connecticut for like your music, your brand, um, what else do you want to do? Like work with more people? I want to work with um, a lot of good artists because there's a lot of talent in CT. Um, I know there's uh, this kid named um, Baby Ty. He's in um, from CT too, and um, he's he's killing it right now. Um, he, he's good. He's he's the one that I feel like is gonna put us on the map. We've seen him and Joker Hustar. Right, they're good. He's yeah, fired. they he's fired. They 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 the, the ones. Yeah. Um, you got some with Young Spade, right? Um, yeah. Okay. We got something cooking up. Um, I know I did it with Autumn, so Young. You know we're gonna do something. Yeah, definitely. I should do a video yeah. and all that. Um, as far as like producers, mm-hmm. do you uh you have your own producer or you you work with other producers? Um, right now we just got our own producer in a sense. Um, his name is HD, and um, I got to meet him at the um, Bushman seminar. So we just got linked up. We have a lot coming in a few months, and then after we do all that, marketing wise, business wise, and everything, we're gonna start to like do the tour. That's fire. Yeah. Um, when you when you're in the studio, you know you're writing a song. How do you like put the song together, like the hook, the verses? Yeah. Um, I like to write before I go. So like, cause to me, time is of like the essence, and um, I like to write. So what I would do is basically like, yo, send me the beat before. You know what I'm trying to say? So I listen to it at home or wherever I'm at. I write the song, and then I just go to the studio because. Some artists like to go to the studio and write, but like for me, if I already wrote, I just go to the studio, record it, and now we have all that time to do more music. You know what I'm saying? And you pay hourly, right? Um, I like to pay hourly, or um, I go to the library studio in downtown, okay. and that one's for free. Oh, they got a studio there? Yeah, they got a studio down there. That's fire. Mm-hmm. Um, have you, like, do you want to, like, uh, perform, like, outside of Connecticut? I know you probably do, but... Yeah, I would, um, I would love to perform, um, I feel like my first performance out of CT would probably be in New York. Okay. Um, and then probably from there, like, the goal is probably PR. Where else would you want to perform? Um, to be honest, everywhere, I don't mind. Anywhere, right? Yeah, anywhere. I feel like the goal for CT, in a sense, like, main goal is, like, XL. 
sensor or like the Dunkin' Donuts part? Um, all right, so about to wrap it up. This is part one. We're about to go in the podcast studio for part two. Yeah. And um, what's your social media and all that? Um, follow me at Nino Ice underscore the kid of CT on Instagram and Nino Ice on YouTube. Bet. It's your boy Go Rome, the Rome Show. We're about to go for part two. Yeah, man, it's your boy Go Rome. You know what I'm saying? This is part two. We back. You know what I'm saying? My boy from Hartford here. You know what I'm saying? Tell them you know your name. Your brand, everything. Yep. Um, my name is Mino Ice, the kid of CT. And um, you want to get ready? Yes, sir. I definitely got the film guy. Yeah, I'm Angelo, his manager, aka the film guy. <laughs> okay, Angelo, the manager. You know, appreciate y'all for, for, for coming through. So, like, um, you know, we was talking about your single before. Um, you want to talk about explaining what inspired you to write that one and put it all together? Um, for that single, it was more like I wanted to give that a sense of like um that reggaeton, like bring it back in a sense, cause now Daddy and he retiring and stuff. They all saying like reggaeton's dying and stuff. I just feel like it's like evolving, like you know what I'm trying to say? It's bringing more like genres and stuff. Oh, they saying it's dying. Yeah, they're saying it's dying because Yankee is retiring and so. stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the goal too. Mm hmm. You fuck with um. Nicky Jam? Yeah, I fuck with Nicky Jam. <laughs> yeah. You That's see this um, the, the show? documentary? Yeah, yeah that was fire. Mm -hmm. That motivates you? Yeah, that motivated me a lot because I could I could relate with it in a sense. Because, um, like, like I don't know, remember in the show, like, his Pete, like, friend, his, his friend Petey? Yeah. That died at that? Yep. Um, like, I related with that a lot because I had a friend, um, I still do, he's my god brother. And um, we used to live together at um, Putnam in Hartford so like it was just like always that like in that sense of I always was scared that he would like follow that life like that Pete did and I was in this life and like music and stuff like that you know what I'm saying yeah so you know uh you being so young you know you're still in school yeah. being an artist um how, how does that lifestyle how is it um it's kind of difficult in a sense but like right now we just we having problems and stuff because it's, it's like hard. yeah it's pretty hard because like um it's like living two lives so it's like living um, educational and yeah. Yeah. So it's like saying like you're basically like a, like you have two identities. You know what I'm trying to say? Cause you're I, like my real name is Isaiah. So I'm Isaiah in school, and then you know I just when I'm out. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So like it's living two lives because you're trying to balance it in a sense of time consuming, but school's not for the rest of the life. So mm -hmm. we're just trying to get ready after we graduate. Word. So Nino Ice is he's like ladies man, and he's like like <laughs> savage. <laughs> Um, well, I got my girl. Um, we've been dating since freshman year. That's how we met. And um, right now, we, we in junior. I feel like um, she motivated me a lot in, in the sense of me being here the day I am. Like, now with this podcast and everything, I feel like if it wasn't for her and him, I wouldn't have been here right now. So, yeah. Shout out to your girl. That's dope. Yeah. Stay focused. Um, when you, when you like, hit the studio, is it like, I know you got, like, school and stuff like that, but, like, are you in the studio heavy? I'm in the studio heavy. I like to, um, um, especially with my studio at home, because I got my own, like, my home little studio at home. So between that studio and, like, the like the OG studio, um, I like to go hard, like, in the sense of, like I said, time is love the essence, so I like to take, like, every project the way it needs to be. You know what I'm trying to say? If I don't feel it, I'm not going to release it, because I don't like to leave stuff half-assed. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, everything got to be on, on point. Yeah. How'd y'all link up, like? Yeah, you wanna say something? Right. <laughs> yeah. So we met at track in school. We got interest. We both have a connection with music. I got interest with music industries. Industries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with different labels and stuff. He really got into it at first, but when we got connected, we talked about it. And that's how I became his manager. Yeah. 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 Cause he has like a lot of connections, so like that's when um he had like ideas. Cause I had mad ideas. But I just didn't know like the business side, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So we're still learning that because we noticed that music is basically 95% like business and just 5% music. Like there's a lot that goes towards it, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, yeah. How old are you? I'm 17. 17. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then early. What's um, is it just y'all two or y'all got more people? We're starting to get more people in it. Yeah. We got us too for now, but yeah, we got a team right now. So we have um, we're working on merch right now. So we have our own merch team. We got a designer, um, our producer that we just got marketing. Marketing. Um, we have a lot that's coming towards like together. So like it's just like in God's name. If it's meant to happen, it's meant to happen. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Just keep going. You're young. It's gonna happen. Um. 
I know over there we talked about a few things that you haven't done, but um, what like what's like one thing you really want to do out here? Um, like I know a gym or yeah, something like that. Um, I know everybody like they like to like um, all the artists in CT like oh, I want to put CT on the map. To me, that's not really my goal. My goal is to just like represent in the sense of just make the people here just feel like yo, I have someone to look up to. You know what I'm trying to say? Because there's a lot of kids like not even kids, like teenagers like me, like my boys that are in that life, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. And then I have somebody that's trying to represent like me, like trying to be an artist and trying to live like two lives in a sense. And then, um, they're doing the same thing. It's just that it's like mixed with a whole different kind of lifestyle, like um, drug street, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So it's, it's kind of difficult because like those are my boys and I love them to death, you know what I'm trying to say? But at the same time, I don't want that to mix in like with what I'm doing, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So yeah. Got to do what's best for you. Exactly. How do you um detect like fake love and real love? Uh, <laughs> um, to be honest, I didn't even know like love existed until like my relationship now. Like we got hit two years, so um and not, neither that like um, my mom, um my friends like my manager and stuff like that. That bond that you got to create like it it's, it's, it comes a long way to like earn trust and respect. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, yeah. How how long y'all been? Going at it? Um, for like a good year now, like, okay, yeah, a year too. Okay. So h how you detect, like, if you know somebody supports you, if they, like, really don't? To me, um, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult because, like, sometimes you want to be the supportive to that person, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So, like, um, I, there's a lot of people that want to support me and I, and I support their decisions, but at the same time, they're the ones that need probably more support than I do, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I have a good head over my shoulders, so I know what I'm doing, I know, like, what steps to take. And it's just, like, um, they they probably might need the mentorship of, like, us, you know what I'm trying to say? Hey, like, yo, keep it in school. Or, like, yo, you, we got you after this, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Don't don't think, like, like that negativity, you know what I'm trying to say? That negative vibe. Right. So, like, um, how do you, like, say you have, like, an off day, I'm saying you ain't really feeling yourself, how do you get yourself, like, back to um, feel yourself? To me, I just listen to music, um, my artist says, or uh, sometimes I just write, like, um, write, like the way I'm feeling in a sense, not like journal-wise, but like I try to like rhyme it, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And that's how you make music. Like, sometimes artists probably like rap or sing about like stuff they don't even live, or sometimes um, they talk about stuff like that doesn't even make sense, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. But like um, me, I like to like relate with other people, or sometimes uh, like one of my friends or something have like a story to tell. I probably tell that story for them if they're not comfortable. You know what I'm trying to say through my music. Right. So yeah. And um, your main genre of music is like reggaeton, right? Um, right now it's reggaeton, but we have a genre idea that's gonna be coming up in a few months. Um, yeah, you guys gotta be like kind of aware about that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be big. It's, it's, we don't know how big it's gonna be. It's probably gonna take us some time just for it to get big. But it's a genre idea of mixing reggaeton with drill, since drill is like this shit right now. Okay. So that would, be fire. that would be fire, and it's like it's not regular reggaeton for you to like listen to. It's like where reggaeton started, the roots, like the street reggaeton, for you to mix it with street drill. Like it, it needs to be combined. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me, like that's what we're that's what we're working on right now with the producer that I'm at, and um, I feel like we're gonna come a far away from with that. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying just keep going. You young, and keep pushing that because we don't really got a lot of uh, reggaeton yeah. artists out here. Exactly. I like to um I like to start my own stuff. I don't like really like bandwagoning uh, like people's other stuff. Like I don't mind doing trap. I don't mind doing like different genres. But I'm an artist, so I like to do creative stuff. I like to try to like fuse like different stuff. You know what I'm trying to say? Mhm. Mm you know, before we wrap it up, um, you know what I'm saying? Any shout outs you want to give? Like, um, you want to talk about promote? <laughs> um, for me, shout out to everybody that I've done music with, my features, like everybody that's helped me to like try to get to this spot that I want to be at right now. Um, JJ, Autumn, Blaze, all y'all, all y'all. So, um, if y'all want, want to say anything. Shout out to my artist, Nino Ice, mm -hmm. to my mother, to all my friends that were supporting me through the lives. And you know, before we go, uh, you know, you, uh, what else you working on? Well, I've been working on this, uh, with this company, Fashion mm -hmm. Design. Mm -hmm. Getting close there. It's one of the things I want to do too. Also music, but that'll be later on. Okay. And uh, what's your uh, social media and all that? Uh, it's call me Angelo on Instagram, Snapchat, anything. 
Yeah. Uh, mine is Nino Weiss underscore the KCT. So, yeah. But, um, team, man. <laughs> we're going to get you back here soon. We're going to yeah. perform, right? We're going to perform in a few months, and it's going to be probably that, that drill with, mixed with everything. But so, they're going to hear it. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, sir.